And now, live in studio, cutting through your typical media nonsense and offering you a rational and unbiased perspective on current events and life in Tampa Bay. He's a successful entrepreneur, published author, top listing agent, a real estate and finance expert that goes to bat for you every day as a consumer advocate. Your host and the consumer quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. Yes, here we are again another day committed to picking a fight with the mainstream media and providing you the timely truth centered around your real estate, credit, finance, estate plans, tax plans, and so much more. You're listening to the Consumer Quarterback Show. Our number one goals are to educate, entertain, enlighten, and we want to engage you in an effort to help you win in any marketplace. The only thing I'm addicted to right now is winning. We want you to save our hotline number in your phone, 813-670-7372. You used to call me on my cell phone. And make sure you bookmark our website, ConsumerQB.com. A plethora of information available at our website, ConsumerQB.com. And you have links there to all of our expert contributors. You can reach out, uh, touch base with them directly, or you can reach reach out to the show. We'll plug you into the network. Our network is our net worth, and we want to help you win in any marketplace. Intelligent Talk Radio, I've got some intelligent folks here in studio with me today, uh, making his debut to the Consumer Quarterback Show, representing Team Hennessy. Your loan pilots is Renee, the pronunciation on the last name. Janak. Janak. Welcome in, sir. Thank you. Thank you for having me, Brandon. Yeah, man. What are we going to talk about today? Um, we'll talk about some uh, loan products and um, basically establishing a good rapport with the client along with the, all the parties involved in the process to make sure the expectations of the individuals all involved are managed and that there's follow-through post-close. Managing expectations. That is the name of the game when it comes to the finance industry, real estate, mortgage. Uh, there's, there's, uh, I saw an interesting flyer the other day. Uh, it was um, something about 90 reasons or 90 uh, areas that could happen and go along with the, the loan process. You know, there's a lot of moving parts. Uh, without question. And um, one of the biggest, uh, you know, benchmarks to go by in the beginning of the process is to make sure that your client is as well informed as possible. Right. Um, whilst at the same time, making sure that, again, all the parties know what the moving parts are of the loan process so that there are no surprises. That's right. Yeah, absolutely. And managing those expectations. All right. So also our photographer for the group here in studio, Robin Winkler, Robin Reese Photography. Welcome back. Yeah. Hi, Brandon. How are you? Doing great. <clears throat> Good. Awesome. I'm excited to be back today. Yes. Yes. Back to work. Back to work after your fabulous wedding. So that's what I'm going to be talking about today. Yeah, that's right. You you uh, did a great job, an outstanding job down there. Beautiful landscape was the Marriott. So was, that was a great place. It was awesome. We had lots of great spaces to shoot and you guys look fabulous. So. Yeah. I think one of the favorite shots was the one from overhead looking down. Up above. Those I like unique cool. ones. That's for yeah, sure. Very unique. Yeah. So uh, Robin Winkler here in studio, she can help with uh, weddings. What What all do you, where's your wheelhouse? Where do you want to stay? What are you looking for? Well, I do weddings and events. I also do a lot of mitzvahs. So I'm definitely big in the bar mitzvah, that mitzvah circuit. They, um, they're they my bread and butter for sure. And then weddings are amazing. They're my other half. Um, and I also do a lot of, of portraits and families and, mm -hmm. you know, and those brides come back to me and they have their babies eventually so it's been fun it's like you That's know I'm, cool. I'm the family fo fo family photographer for yeah. sure it's it's neat to develop these relationships and long time relationships with these families that's pretty cool to see the see the kids grow up right for yeah. sure and to, to shoot their mitzvah and then you know years later to go ahead and shoot their wedding it gets crazy yeah. it is neat i want to talk to you more about some of the the technologies that are involved and, and what, how do you see that going and what's happened oh, uh, sure. with that space as well and i'm your host brandon rhymes i'm the owner of platinum mvp realty and a top listing agent here in tampa bay and we're always looking for inventory properties that we can list and sell help you maximize the exposure on the sale of your real estate properties and we have a unique strategy where we actually feature our listings on the show so i've got a hot one here at 9825 will Ski Boulevard in Tampa, four bedrooms, three full bath, two half bath. This is over 5,500 square feet, beautiful, ultra modern, exquisite home on a lakefront. 
uh, very private as well. 9825 Wilski Boulevard, $1.5 million. Looking for our million-dollar players out there, the guys and gals looking to invest in, in a beautiful single-family home right outside of West Chase in Tampa. Beautiful property. Uh, taking you up north on US-19 here, we got a Port Ritchie property, 5105 Bay Boulevard, three bedrooms, three bath, Martha's Vineyard, $563,000, over 6,200 square feet, total square feet. Now, a lot of that is your garage area down beneath. Uh, from the third story, you've got a beautiful view overlooking the gorgeous Gulf of Mexico. And we want to help you win in any marketplace. And uh, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So when we think about real estate, actually, let me plug our sponsor, Kipton's The Hotel Zamora on beautiful St. Pete Beach. It's the first new hotel built on the beach in decades. It's a whitewashed Mediterranean palace with expansive luxury suites. Uh, you've got a, a restaurant on site. The Castile restaurant is amazing. Excellent uh, food. Uh, the last time I, I was there, I think the chef was uh, just from the White House. He was uh, with one of the uh, recent presidential campaigns at the White House. Um, and great food, top of the line. And then you look at, you go upstairs and you take in that 360 view from the lounge upstairs, just a gorgeous view over the Gulf of Mexico. You're overlooking down south. You see the Don Cesar and uh, level 11, the bar up there on the, on the right. The Zamora has a beautiful offer for our listeners out there. 20% off your dis off your stay. All you have to do is mention the Consumer Quarterback Show and you get 20% off. They're going to hook you up VIP style with a bottle of wine in your room and a charcuterie platter as well. My daughter loves those. She loves the little cheeses nice. and the little... You know, little crackers and all that good stuff. But they take care of our listeners out there, that's for sure. Also, Brio Tuscan Girl has a special going on over there as well. We'll talk about them later. All right, so, uh, Renee, you know, with the uh, the real estate space, it's it's such a great place. You know, so many Americans have built wealth through the real estate. Uh, you know, everything from veteran loans to conventional financing. Uh, what are you seeing out there? Um, basically, it's a, it's a wide-open territory right now. Uh, you know, you have a lot of different... Uh, a lot of different uh, levels of volume. Um, you still have a lot of uh, individuals as well as um, companies out there trying to obtain and flip properties. Whilst you also have, you know, single family dwellings that individuals are looking to either invest in or occupy as their primary residence. So it's, it's an ongoing uh, moving target, if you will, um, we specialize in a lot of VA products out there. I'm prior military myself, so it's kind of, as you put it earlier, in my wheelhouse. Yeah. Um, but we have, you know, obviously FHA and your conventional products. Um, we also have a plethora of other different uh, types of lending or loan products that are available. It, by way of our competing uh, lenders and banks out there, a lot of them do have propensity to advertise it, but really it's probably the main three that they go after with regularity so what's that the the conventional the fha the va and the conventional, the conventional products. right yeah and, and outside of that w what's available now is there much non-qualified stuff yeah we uh we have uh, uh 12 and 24 uh month bank statement programs that are available um non-qm um we also have um a two or three k which um there's a lot of lenders that do have that as well uh just the list is lengthy. I mean, yeah. if you have a, a desire to discuss it at Ignosium, we can pretty much customize a product or a loan program uh, based on your need and want that can fulfill what you're looking to, to to pursue. Yeah, absolutely. I think some of the misconceptions that people have as far as down payment, you know, they, they still have this conception that, well, I got to have 20% down, but that's not that's not the case. No, not at all. I mean, there's there's uh, again, there's the three percent down. There's uh, you can pretty much put any percentage you want down on a lot of these uh, programs such as conventional. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, in the inception of our uh, dialogue today, you know, management of expectation is paramount with the client to make sure that they understand the obligation that they're about to undertake because they do have PMI in some cases if they haven't hit the 80% plateau in regards to the loan to value. So it's our objective to make sure that, you know, that they are well schooled in what is available to them, timeframes in which they're going to hit that plateau so that it, it, it increases their disposable income and helps them create equity in their home and in their future. Yeah. Yeah. And especially, you know, when it comes with managing the expectations, the timeframes and, and giving those pointers on what not to do, 
you know, not to go out and take on any new credit and you know some of those type scenarios. Uh, but uh, if you just join us, Brandon Rhymes here. I'm your host. We're talking with Renee. Uh, he's with Team Hennessy here and your loan pilots. Local lenders support your local economy. That's one of my pet peeves is people supporting the big banks, the guys that took the bailout money and just contributing to you know perpetuating that <laughs> continuous cycle of uh, you know you know what it is. So uh, Renee, when we come back, when we talk about you know, the different styles of loans and uh, the opportunity. You know, I like to focus on the opportunity. We live in the greatest city, in my opinion, and the greatest country on the planet. And when you think about, you know, the opportunity that people have today, uh, I want to talk a little bit about investor loans. I want to talk about, you know, those types of scenarios, how people can cash flow. And uh, I want to touch base on that. And we're also going to bring Robin into the conversation, talk about some family photography and, and some of the ideas that she has with, uh, you know, where she sees that industry going. So stay with us here. Consumer Quarterback Show, ConsumerQB.com. Hey, this is Grant Cardone, and you're listening to Consumer Quarterback Show, hosted by my friend Brandon Rhymes. Do not touch that dial. I'll come right through the radio and grab your throat. To get in touch with Brandon, call 813-670-7372, online at ConsumerQB.com. Enjoy tranquil seclusion in an eco-lover's paradise. Paddling through the mangroves where the only sounds you'll hear are the sounds of nature. Because you deserve to relax on vacation, visit Pasco County, Florida. Are you a real estate agent looking to take your business to the next level and supercharge your marketing? Hi, I'm Brandon Rhymes, owner of Platinum MVP Realty and host of the Real Estate Quarterback Show, syndicated radio and TV show talk program on iHeartRadio, 1025 The Bone, daily five o'clock drive time on 1380 The Biz, and our TV show is on WeBeam TV. We're looking for real estate agents that wanna join our team and supercharge their marketing, utilizing some of our innovative strategies. We utilize the Real Geeks platform, Facebook marketing, internet marketing, and a lot of the traditional methods as well. Postcard mailers mailed for you. Postage, signage, business cards, all paid for by the company. Aggressive real estate splits and ways to help you win in any marketplace. We need you to go out, take applications and work our plethora of leads that we're generating on a daily basis. Reach out by clicking the form below and we'd love to have a confidential interview with you.
listening to the Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes, online at ConsumerQB.com. Brandon is Tampa Bay's number one consumer advocate for real estate and financial advice. Call Brandon today at 813-670-7372. Welcome back. Thanks for sticking with us. Brandon Rhymes here, Consumer Quarterback Show, Platinum MVP Realty, helping you win in any marketplace. Former USF football player, played on the inaugural football team at USF, and a longtime quarterback on our sports teams. Now we're quarterbacking uh, introductions to all of our 80 plus show partners, CPAs, financial advisors, attorneys in several different fields, uh, all types of home services here with the show. We got chefs, we've got replenish IV solutions. There's so many ways that we can help you uh, here with the Consumer Quarterback Show, but it's up to you, engage, reach out. We'd love to hear from you and check out our website, consumerqb.com. Consumerqb.com. <clears throat> Giving a shout out to Brio Tuscan Grill. Man, what a great restaurant partner we have. Brio Tuscan Grill, they're offering now. Uh, free appetizers to any of our listeners. Anybody hearing my voice today that wants a free appetizer from a, a, a first-class restaurant here, uh, go down to Brio Tuscan Grill, International Plaza. It's 2223 uh, Northwest Shore Boulevard. Let them know the real estate quarterback sent you, and they're going to hook you up with an app. they got some great appetizers. Spicy shrimp and eggplant is to die for. Excellent food. They've got the uh, carpaccio, beef carpaccio. They've got calamari, all kinds of good stuff. The uh, little pizzas are awesome. Brio Tuscan Grill, our restaurant partner. We did a live show there a little while back. We're probably going to do another one there soon. So uh, we want you reaching out to Brio Tuscan Grill at the International Plaza. And uh, just mention the quarterback show, and you're going to get hooked up. They're also going to hook you up with that free water with lemon every time. It's some good <laughs> water there. And uh, so back in studio, helping you win any marketplace. Uh, we're talking with Renee. Team Hennessy, the loan pilots. And uh, talking about, you know, the investor side of real estate is what I like to talk about. There's so much opportunity. You know, we've had Grant Cardone on the show. Tom Hopkins got his start in real estate. Uh, you know, some some very, you know, powerful, well-known people, uh, millionaires being created every day in the real estate space. And, you know, and it's something as quiet as accumulating properties over your career, you know, buying one property every couple of years. Uh, by the time you're 50, 60, 70, 80 years old, you know, you're at a point where now you got 10 properties. If those properties are appreciating anywhere from three to five percent on the very extreme low end, even taking into account a mortgage meltdown thrown in there, you know, you're, you're sitting on a million dollars worth of uh, real estate at that point on a very conservative number. Without question. And, uh, you know, we we deal with them on a daily basis. Some of the folks that um, uh, I dealt with even as recently as a month ago that have closed have already entertained going into that genre of what they're, you know, they have their core competency, what they do for a living, but they see the benefits of move, pursuing, you know, real estate. It's right. an attractive thing, especially, uh, you know, as you mentioned, as time progresses and you're aggressive with your equity position on these, even if you do incur, or we, I should say, incur any type of financial meltdown, you know, if you're at a point where your liquidity level in the property is there, then you're going to be in good shape. Right. It's yeah. six, you know, six of one, half a dozen of the other. So let's talk about how we can get people into these investments. There's, you know, investor products out there. There's secondary home products. What, what's your favorite? Well, right now I do. I like the, the like I uh, mentioned earlier, we have a 24 month a bank statement program with a lot of these folks because um, the ones that I've run into in recent in the recent past are in a position where they are have so many write-offs right. that they need to pursue something along those lines. It's um, it's an aggressive product. It can be done expeditiously, and in the spirit of getting it done faster, it puts them in a position that they can go ahead and start making you know a good return on that investment. Yeah, rapid, absolutely. Rapid so, time. So that's that's a unique product where you're able to just look at the income based on deposits, and the underwriter is going to say, "Yeah, I understand they're bringing in this money. Uh, we we do understand that a lot of people want to minimize the amount that they're contributing to uh, Uncle Sam and uh, you know paying taxes. So it makes it to make sense deal. Right, and they, and they also take into consideration the depreciation on their current investments, and this will also help them qualify in a much more expeditious manner and again put them in a position that they're going to be at a faster ROI. Yeah. 
And and the other thing that some people will do is they'll they'll you know if they haven't filed 2017 taxes for example, they'll go to their accountant and they'll say, hey, you know, we want to buy this property. I've got I'm working with a great mortgage partner here, uh, mortgage loan officer at Team Hennessy. Your loan pilots are local in Tampa. We want to qualify for X amount. Can you make our tax returns turn out to basically be that within reason? You know, people people have done that and, and qualified for properties that way. Without question, I mean it, it gives uh, it gives you a lot of, uh, for lack of a better, I guess, adjective, a lot of lateral movement. Whereas you don't have that with other lending institutions or lenders. Mm -hmm. So it, you know, if there, it, 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 it's almost endless. Like I said uh, earlier, when you have uh, the ability to pretty much customize a loan product that's going to fit the mold for what that investor needs. That gives them a lot more skin in the game in a much more rapid fashion. Right. Yeah, it's a, it's a it's a game changer when you get into real estate and you're able to see that. And then you also couple the fact that there's vehicles out there, self-directed IRAs, for example, with Scott Maurer with Advanta IRA. Uh, he's our partner, been a longtime friend of the program, three or four years now. He's been coming on our program, educating in the areas of self-directed IRAs. You can buy that same triplex, duplex, or quad, four units on a conventional loan, and then you put it through an investment vehicle like a self-directed IRA. Now you're not getting hit with the taxes, all of those rents are being paid through your IRA. So you're not accumulating taxes as that happens. You sell an asset, you can reinvest it through the IRA. There's a lot of advantages when you look at utilizing those types of vehicles as well. E enormous advantage added to which if they decide to go out and pursue other properties, you have a, a, a just a perfect streamlined process to verify the actual income and depreciation on that, which makes it a lot easier from an underwriting standpoint, and right. you can expedite the process. Yeah, good point. Yeah, someone like a, like a Scott Maurer with Advanta IRA, they're the custodian. They're going to help you with that. They're not going to advise you, you know, within reason. They can tell you certain things here and there, but it's different from, you know, one of the things that I that I hate with the way our, our system set up, 401ks were a scam. You know, they, they basically, you know, the mutual funds, the whole industry pretty much is a scam. Tony Robbins, Money Master the Game, he, he, he brought that to the forefront with the way that so many people, you go around and you go to some of these networking groups and everybody's got one particular seat that they wear, right? Now, a lot of the financial advisors, they're so-called wealth advisors, but they're not fiduciaries. So my, my point there is that, you know, when you're getting vi advice and you're trusting people, especially when it comes to your money, you know, it might not be the right person to trust when the fact is 95% of the mutual funds out there don't outperform the index. So if you were to invest directly into the S&P 500, for example, 95% of these mutual funds don't outperform that and you pay double, triple, quadruple or more for that type of a privilege to be able to invest. So anyway, it's going down a little bit of bunny trail there, but you know, my point my point is that when it comes to your finances, you, you want to work with someone that's that's you know, reputable, someone that knows what they're doing and preferably if there's a choice, a fiduciary. You you use that term and, and it's a good one because I think you have a, an ethical and moral responsibility as a loan officer to ensure that, you know, it goes back to manage, management of expectation. Right. These people, when they come to us, even if they're not a seasoned investor, if they're just, you know, John and Joe public, mm -hmm. you know, want to buy a house. It's in their best interest to partner up with somebody that's going to look out for their best interest and say, okay, here's your disposable income. Okay. What are you comfortable with? Right. The end game with a lot of, you know, competing firms and, and other players out there, to be honest, and it's disturbing is that their reality is that the higher the loan amount, the greater the win for the customer. And right. It's not the case. Right. So you need to look out for your client's best interests and not only during the pro, not in, at, only at the beginning, during and post close. That's right. To educate them on how to expedite the payoff of the home and put themselves in a greater position, position not only financially, but stress wise. Yeah. Yeah, you, you talk about commission-based advice. It's mm -hmm. it's all over the place. It's everywhere we turn, and you know you you look at those scenarios. So it's so it's frustrating. It's tough. So uh, more from Renee. I want I want to go ahead and bring in uh, Robin Winkler here. I, uh, Robin I have a question yeah. for Renee. What about those bank statement loans? I've always heard that the interest rates are crazy, ridiculous, expensive. Like they're high on those. Are they higher? Are they well, 
We, if, as far as interest rates goes, you, it would be a conversation that you'd have to contact us on because they are, it's a moving scale. Um, generally speaking, um, on that type of product where there is greater risk to the lender, yeah, you are going to be looking at a higher interest rate, but they vary based on the product. So yeah. if you want to, anybody wants to contact us regarding any, any type of uh, uh, rate movement on these types of products, feel free to contact us at Team Hennessy and we'd be more than happy to have a dialogue with Loanpilots.com, Loanpilots.com, ConsumerQB.com. But yeah, that's a great point. And when you come when you come into those little bit outside of the box type lending programs, I think you will you're going to pay a little bit more of a point, maybe a point higher, maybe a point and a half. I don't think it's going to be that's too. Not that bad yeah, at all. it's not going to be too crazy from from what I've seen. And and the idea is that's most likely a self employed barber who's been doing it. They've just been going, had their head down. They've they've got a lawn service or they're a small contracting company. They're making a bunch of money, but they don't how to properly they don't know how to properly stack their books to where they can qualify. So then they take that loan. They maybe stay in the home for a couple of years. They build their tax returns where they can qualify. Then they can refinance out of it and if keep, it's if it's set high. And if I may, and keeping in mind, you know, if you are dealing with a fiduciary, sometimes there are tax advantages to these things. And if it's just a short term fix to, you know, ascertain a, a good investment in your future, then that's not a bad thing. It's just a question that you would want to ask a professional that is looking out for your money. It's a way interest. of getting you out of that high rent payment. Exactly. Getting a of course. lower mortgage payment. Great point. Rents Absolutely. are 30% higher in general that, that most people can qualify for a mortgage. Yeah. So if they're throwing rent money away, Man, you know, it's just, it's so challenging. And that's where my heart goes right now to these renters, uh, to the veterans, you know, the first responders, people that we want to help, you know, we want to rebate money back to them if they close with us, buy or sell uh, with Platinum MVP Realty. We got a special place for them, but we got a special treat for you when we come back. Robin's got some pictures from our actual wedding. Yay! So you're going to show, we're going to show, show some of our wedding pictures when we come back. Yay, can't yeah. wait. Yeah, some good stuff. So we got that lined up. Uh, some of the pictures got some beach scenes. You got the some, inside the hotel. Some cute little sneak peeks. The lobby. Like the, yeah, the lobby and view. You and Brylin, so. Yeah, yeah. So okay. stay with us here. When you come back, we're going to see some of our wedding photos from about a month ago now. It's yeah. been about a month, so. Uh, so and yeah, you so already have, have them back. Look how quick that was. That, see, look at that. There you go. <laughs> there's another There's another great reason why Robin Reese Photography is the place to be. All right, so stay with us here. Consumer Quarterback Show. We're going to help you win in any marketplace. Stay with us right after this short, short break. We'll be right back. Thanks for listening to my daddy's show. For more information, go to ConsumerQB.com. To get in touch with Brandon, call 813-670-7372. Online at ConsumerQB.com. Are you a real estate agent looking to take your business to the next level and supercharge your marketing? Hi, I'm Brandon Rimes, owner of Platinum MVP Realty and host of the Real Estate Quarterback Show. 
syndicated radio and TV show talk program on iHeartRadio, 1025 The Bone, daily 5 o'clock drive time on 1380 The Biz, and our TV show is on WeBeam TV. We're looking for real estate agents that want to join our team and supercharge their marketing utilizing some of our innovative strategies. We utilize the Real Geeks platform, Facebook marketing, internet marketing, and a lot of the traditional methods as well. Postcard mailers mailed for you. Postage, signage, business cards, all paid for by the company. Aggressive real estate splits and ways to help you win in any marketplace. We need you to go out, take applications, and work our plethora of leads that we're generating on a daily basis. Reach out by clicking the form below, and we'd love to have a confidential interview with you. You're listening to The Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rimes, cutting through your typical media nonsense and offering you a rational and unbiased perspective on current events and life in Tampa Bay. Online at ConsumerQB.com. All right, welcome back. Thanks for sticking with us here. Brandon Rimes, the Consumer Quarterback Show. Uh, in studio with us today, we've got Renee representing Team Hennessy, your loan pilots, uh, loanpilots.com. Robin Winkler as well, Robin Reese Photography, and uh, in studio with me as well. And I um, want to talk to you about our book here. We got our book on Amazon, Become the MVP in Your Industry by Surfing the Radio Waves. We'd love for you to check it out, download, and uh, grab a copy there uh, online at Amazon. Become the MVP in Your Industry by Surfing the Radio Waves, teaching people how to start their own show, grow their celebrity. And we actually led that into the Business Grow Celebrity Academy, where we partnered up with uh, UFC legend Ken Shamrock and uh, WWF legend as well and, and four-time champion as well as uh, Ken Shamrock, Des Woodruff, uh, Lindsay's uh, helping us with that as well. We're really excited about that. Going to be launching out more details uh, soon on that. So uh, back here in studio, giving a shout out to Mary Maids, our official cleaning partner of the Consumer Quarterback Show with Mary Maids. Relax, it's done. They do a great job cleaning our real estate properties. They have a satisfaction guaranteed uh, seal of approval here. Relax, it's done. Mary Maids, let Mary Maids clean your home. And they do a great job. They are the recipients of the Women's Choice Award as well. America's most recommended cleaning services is Mary Maids. All right, back here in studio. A couple of hot listings from PlatinumMVPRealty.com. PlatinumMVPRealty.com. 6601 Crikel Avenue in Riverview. Beautiful property in the Bloomingdale area. And it's a, a gorgeous uh, property here with a great backyard. Huge backyard. Uh, you've got a... Uh, three bay workshop there back in the back if you uh, for any reason want extra space this is a great property three hundred and twenty five thousand dollars just reduced thirty three hundred square feet in the east side east county of uh, hillsborough and you also have one five six four eight north himes avenue north forest village five bedrooms four bath four hundred and eighty five thousand dollars actually we just reduced this down to four seventy uh somewhere in the four seventies and it's forty three hundred square feet cul-de-sac home pool home gorgeous uh, throughout, you got the gleaming Italian marble floors. Too many upgrades to go through here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, but uh, check out PlatinumMVPRealty.com. You can do a self search there. You want to search real estate, you want to get a valuation on your home. PlatinumMVPRealty.com has uh, all of that for you. And uh, all right, back here in studio helping you win. Uh, let's go back to Robin. So, Robin Winkler, family photographer. Uh, you do weddings, you do events, all kinds of cool stuff, family portraits. And uh, yeah, so what what are you it's, seeing out there? It's a fun industry. And I just wanted to give a shout out to Hotel Zamora too. Yeah. The weekend before your wedding, um, I had a wedding there with Katie and Danny and it was just stunning. The people there were great to work with. It was a touch and go situation with the weather because it was a little bit, it could have possibly rained on them. And yeah. they were, you know, it's a difficult situation and yep. they worked right through it and they were great to work with. And right before they sat everybody down, you know, they made sure all the seats were dried off because it had sprinkled a tad and nice. they were great to work with. And I rooftop. Ref, yeah. She, well, she wound up having to have the reception inside, okay. but you know what? She got the wedding of her dreams outside. Okay. So, and then the, the, the wedding was up top. The wedding was down where the, by the pool area. Okay. Yeah. So, That's and then cool. all of the, there's so many beautiful places to shoot there as well. So yeah. it's a great spot to have a wedding. Yeah. Beautiful hotel. If you haven't been there, check them out. Let them know the real estate quarterback sent you. 
take them up on that 20% discount. And so when it comes to photography, what, what's some of the most important things? I mean, the lighting, the, 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 the environment, the backdrop, what, what's the most important thing that you want to look for? You just said it right there and your equipment as yeah. well. Like we had talked about where the industry is going like for equipment. Right. I have the brand new D850 out by Nikon. Most people can't even get their hands on it yet, but uh -oh. it is fabulous. Got it's the a, new hot stuff. It's a fantastic camera and it's right up there. Everybody's now coming back to Nikon because of this camera. Ah, so okay. that and then Sony has a new mirrorless out. And I was was out in Vegas a couple months back, and I got to go to the um, unveiling of this camera, and it's pretty hot too. But wow. it's neat because it's mirrorless. So I thought about switching over to Sony because because it's lighter weight, yeah, and it's not as bulky and heavy as these full frame, you know, non mirrorless cameras. But, right. So those are the two hottest cameras out there right now. Wow. Which which one? So. The Link Nikon is that the one with uh, Andre Agassi back in the day? Or is that Sony? I can't I remember. I think that was, that was like power shot. Was that Canon? Yeah, it was I, like his, you know, hitting the ball. It had it kind of pictures where it's hitting on the line. I yeah, think Canon. that was Canon. Yeah. yeah. So is that not a, they're not in the picture much? No, so Canon was kind of the way everybody was moving towards. And now after this D850 just came out, everybody's like, it's spot on with everything. With wow. how quick it shoots, with how um, consistent it shoots, and the sharpness and the quality. Everybody's yeah. Yeah. Catching, catching those certain images, like, you know, the one of the most famous sports in the sports is where uh, Muhammad Ali is kind of standing over Frazier. You know that one? Yeah. 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 I mean, because because it was just that it was just that perfect timing of the click. Right. And, and, and it caught the image. I, guess, I can't remember if he's looking down at what it was, but. Right. Because it's well, all about catching that that moment. And you've heard like the the 10,000 rule, you know, once you get to a certain point of shooting 10,000 this, 2,000 or right. 10,000 of anything, yeah, you become hours, this yep. expert, right? Well, having being like a wedding photographer, I think that that's where you guys were talking about managing expectations and right. managing. So many people think, oh, well, you know, I have a camera, I can go and shoot a wedding. Going and shooting wedding, there are so many different parts, moving parts, like the weather that if you, if a consumer takes a consumer level camera out on a humid day in Florida, yeah. what happens to your glasses when you walk out? It's gonna fog. It fogs right up. Yeah. So unless you have, like I have over $20,000 with equipment that I bring with me on wedding day. Wow. Which I probably shouldn't say that because now I'm going <laughs> to. <laughs> yeah. But that equipment is made so that right. won't happen. Where right. most, uh, there's a lot of professionals out there. Like I've worked with a lot of video guys who think that they kind of do it on the side. And, yeah. you know, they charge a lesser price. And so wow. they hire the video guy. It just doesn't work. It's like that guy, you know, will go outside and all of a sudden he can't shoot any video. Why? Because this camera is completely fogged up. Wow. Down. Yeah, it makes a difference. Yeah, it you makes know, a big difference. Investing in education, investing in your technology, that you know, those are, that's where you know you got the expert, you're working with the right people. And of course, with the Consumer Quarterback Show, that's what we do. We bring all the, the best experts in all the areas. We bring them to you. Uh, they take time out of their schedule to come on air and, and, and to talk about uh, consumer advocate tips, things to do, things to avoid, how to avoid commission-based advice. You know, so, our, so one of our slogans is, we don't care if you're climbing a corporate ladder, if you throw a ladder in your truck on the way to work, this show's for you. We have all the best experts that we bring on consumerqb.com is where you can find them and we're talking with robin winkler now um, family photographer uh, so weddings you know yeah. managing manage, managing expectations bridezilla the, those that term comes to mind i mean you know All right the, so you know there's a lot to deal with there All right for sure well what yeah. did you, what was your experience like brandon this is everything I was smooth to, everything I was the, smooth man we were just <laughs> we were chilled we were just like we were super chilled. Lindsay did a great job beforehand getting things lined up, and and her um, sister helped out a lot. Um, you know, everything was great, and then you know everything was just perfectly smooth. You came in, uh, you said, "Hey, you know, take control of the situation. You guys do this, do this," and it mm -hmm. just makes it so much better when you're just, you know, that's it. I mean, you. Just so I like to take the bride and the groom and their bridal party and yeah. have a little bit of fun. Like you yeah. can pose people, but wouldn't you rather pose them? Uh, while they're doing fun things right your facial expressions your body language everybody's just naturally having and that's the images that are going to speak to you yeah there's the ones that you're like oh my gosh i just love that there's the first look john put the first look up there i'm, I'm learning all this wedding terminology what, as we go yes, here. so that's yes. called the first look right what was the other one john? so just having that like just that cool. image like right there with Lindsay, like she yeah. had originally brought her finger up to her lips and was just standing there straight up and down yeah. Where I was like, okay, now lean just a little bit towards me. Those are like yeah. little things that that makes such right. a difference in that image that 
you know, maybe a novice photographer or somebody who hasn't shot as many weddings as I have might not pick up on. Right. But that makes a big difference. Yeah. And, and especially when that's in covered in every single image over your wedding. Sure. It probably looks a little more genuine. Right. I like it. John, genuine, can you put yes. the last one up too? So now, so now we're looking at the overhead where, uh -huh. where you're, you're on the, uh, the second level kind of looking down. That's a cool picture too. Right. Up top. So I think like going into a situation like that and being able to read things very quickly because it is a moving. So I have very much an attention to detail personality Right. at the same time, still, you know, making sure everybody is having fun, but nothing's going to be missed. So I walk in and I see this great over oh, hallway overlook, I yeah. guess you could say two story that was open below. Yeah. So I was able to go up and shoot from up top down below and capture just a, another unique and different angle. Right. That's a little bit different than your average wedding picture of everybody just standing yeah. there. So, and then I wanted to have some fun. So I had them all then throw their okay is up. So yeah. I try and take the traditional Im image and then I'll ha turn that into ha having some interaction, some action go on. And right. then that brings another dynamic to it, which I think that was a great shot. And there's one with Braylon with the dress flaring out and, and then, when I'm holding her up. And yeah. what did I have? Did I have you guys just stand side by side? No, I'm like, pick her up, throw her around, you know, yeah. spin her around. And yep. what does that create when you're spinning your daughter around? Are you going to have a fake smile on your face? Right. Not at all. So right. that's where I like to interact with my clients and my brides and grooms and, and yeah. the kids. And I have four girls, so I just love working with kids at weddings as well. Yeah, yeah. Check her out. Her website is, uh, you can go to our website, consumerqb.com or robinreese.com. It's R-O-B-I-N-R-E-I-S-S, robinreese.com. All right, so stay with us here. When we come back, more from our expert contributors. We're going to jump into our lightning round, and we're going to end with some some nuggets of advice, some, some hard-hitting nuggets of advice, ways that you can live a better life here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, consumerqb.com. Hey, I'm Ken Shamrock, and you're here with Consumer Quarterback Show. And I say, Brandon Rhymes, knock out your competition. To get in touch with Brandon, call 813-670-7372. Online at ConsumerQB.com. Enjoy tranquil seclusion in an eco-lover's paradise. Paddling through the mangroves where the only sounds you'll hear are the sounds of nature. Because you deserve to relax on vacation, visit Pasco County, Florida.
Are you a real estate agent looking to take your business to the next level and supercharge your marketing? Hi, I'm Brandon Rimes, owner of Platinum MVP Realty and host of the Real Estate Quarterback Show, syndicated radio and TV show talk program on iHeartRadio, 1025 The Bone, daily five o'clock drive time on 1380 The Biz, and our TV show is on WeBeam TV. We're looking for real estate agents that want to join our team and supercharge their marketing, utilizing some of our innovative strategies. We utilize the Real Geeks platform, Facebook marketing, internet marketing, and a lot of the traditional methods as well. Postcard mailers mailed for you. Postage, signage, business cards, all paid for by the company. Aggressive real estate splits and ways to help you win in any marketplace. We need you to go out, take applications, and work our plethora of leads that we're generating on a daily basis. Reach out by clicking the form below and we'd love to have a confidential interview with you. You're listening to the Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes, online at consumerqb.com. Brandon is Tampa Bay's number one consumer advocate for real estate and financial advice. Call Brandon today at 813-670-7372. All right, welcome back. Thanks for sticking with us. Brandon Rimes here, Consumer Quarterback Show, Platinum MVP Realty and a top listing agent here in Tampa Bay, helping our sellers profit more on the sale of their real estate properties. And we're always looking for great agents, any other uh, real estate agents that want to join our team. And, and uh, you know, we got a lot of lot to offer. Real Geeks platform, lots of cool things we're doing that uh, other companies don't do as well. So we want to help you win. PlatinumMVPRealty.com, our premier sponsor. Check out PlatinumMVPRealty.com. And we're talking, about, we're talking earlier uh, in studio, I've got uh, Renee representing uh, LoanPilots.com, Team Hennessy, Robin Winkler as well in the house here, photography, family photography. But uh, Renee, earlier we were talking about uh, you know investment opportunities and real estate with investments. And I've got a property that I've got here at 4641 Fifth Avenue North in St. Pete. This is a $500,000 asset and it's four units. So you got two duplexes here at 4641 Fifth Avenue. And when you look at it, there's there's a lot of money coming in. You've got about $4,300 worth of income coming in. They've got on-site washer dryer that generates a little bit extra money. Uh, the rents could use uh, to be raised. Basically, they're overdue for a raise when it comes to the rents. And for a four unit property like this, that's offered for about a half a million dollars. Someone could come in with about 3% down uh, if it's an owner occupied. So you got $15,000 into the deal, roughly. You know, you got prepaids, this and that. Uh, and, and you can structure seller concessions still with some of that too as well, to even to offset that even more. So you come in with ten to $15,000 and you control a half a million dollar asset in beautiful St. Pete, Tampa Bay. And, you know, this, this is almost like a no-brainer when you look at these types of opportunities. Without question. Yeah, so you go in and you're able to buy that property. You're able to insure the asset. So it's so worst case scenario, wind, flood, fire, something happens. You're still, you know, you got your insurance there. Uh, so when I look at people throwing money, they pull money out of their paycheck. They throw it into a, a 401k or something through their job. And they, they call that a retirement plan or investing, you know, they're, they're, they're you know, because we're taught, oh, let's diversify. Let's put money into the stock market. Let's put money into mutual funds. That's what we're programmed when we grow up. And when you're putting money into something that's potentially corrupt, Enron, you know, all these different types of things happen. Uh, when you look at the beautiful, you know, properties that you can buy here in Tampa Bay, especially four units where you can live in one, rent the other three out, there's really not, not much of a better way to go. No, it's it's a no brainer. And I mean, you, you know, with, with you mentioned some of the, uh, I guess, uh, unethical um ideas from the past and i'm being kind yes um you know the, these are you know we, we you look back in the 50s and 60s you know when our parents grew up that was the that was the benchmark that's the way they always looked at things you know you invest in the future but the problem is is that it becomes so polluted with with greed and everything else that they a lot of people forget their core values I, i'd rather have somebody inform me than try and impress me right and if this is a, a you know a no-brainer as it is, I mean, it's it's almost, dare I say, foolish not to pursue it. Right. It's not without work, though. 
because you mm-hmm. do have to go out and find these and you have to do your due diligence and but it the, the reward is there yeah if you do it yeah and it's competitive that's the thing oh, it's without competitive question. too yeah, it's competitive. You look at wholesaling, you know, buying people are putting out the bandit signs. We buy houses cash and they're doing the wholesaling thing. And basically what they're doing is they're tying up the property. They're meeting the owner and saying, yeah, I want to buy your house. I want to buy it, but I'm going to need to assign this contract. So they check the box that says assignment, you know, and, and these are the ideas that people pay, uh, you know, you know who they are. You hear the real estate gurus, supposedly, allegedly, they come into town, they hold these big seminars mm-hmm. and, oh, it's only 15 grand or 25 grand and we'll teach you how to do that. That's what it is. You check the box that says assignable. You go out there and find the real estate before somebody else knows about it. And then you're able to assign that contract and make a lot of money. But it is competitive to your point, what we're talking about. Without question. Yeah, it's a super competitive market. So when you when you look at, uh, you know, the investment side, uh, the the owner occupied, and then also the counter side of renting versus owning, you know, it, it's it's really you know it's a great market to be in. It it is, and you know, it, I just recently have a a client that I'm dealing with now, and it's ironic because I've had, you know, several conversations with her, and it's she's scared, and that's natural, first time home buyer. You know, it's it's a huge undertaking. Most people buy you know, maybe three, four times in their lifetime. Right. And it's the biggest investment they're going to make. And you got to hold their, I think you pay it forward. You got to hold their hand. And, That's right. you know, again, act as a fiduciary. You don't yeah. need the, you don't need to be Ahab here. Go after the whale. You want to make sure that you're in a comfort zone and that futuristically they have planned for it because they have a comfort zone in regards to their disposable income that they're going to have left over. That's right. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, so Team team uh, Hennessy, the loan pilots, local lender supporting the local economy here. I met uh, almost all your team at our last gratitude party. Yep. What a great team you have there. Uh, you know, Jim, uh, Julie, Desi. I mean, you got the great team. Todd's been on the show several times. And, you know, that's the way that you build reputation and you build referrals, too. Without question. Yep. By over delivering, you know, and and coming through for the client's expectations, as you said before. Yeah. So let's, let's switch. I want to bring Robin in. Robin, on the, on the real estate side, do you, do, you, do you have any questions or anything kind of popping in your mind there when it comes to, you know, what we're talking about? I know. Just when you were mentioning that about that, I'm like, who would not want to do that deal? Move yeah. into one part of it and then pay for the rest of it? Like, that sounds yeah. great. And then you can build up more and buy another house. and keep. That's right. Especially for veterans, you know, if veterans were to do a deal like that, where they buy a quad, they buy a four unit income producing property, they live in one side because it's an owner occupied loan, you know, talk them, talk them through that, uh, you know, Renee, talk them through how that process would work. Well, they would basically, um, they would pursue the purchase of it. Obviously they'd have to do their due diligence on qualifying. Um, we would take and back out a portion of the of the rent based on the percentages that it's at. Every mm-hmm. situation's different, and then from there, they would have the you know the the return on investment for if it's quad, then obviously three of the units that's generating revenue for them that would offset their their mortgage payment and potentially in most cases, uh, especially now, they would probably be in the black. Right. So yeah. you couldn't you couldn't beat it. Plus, they have the benefit of using their VA. So right. they're not coming up with any money down. And, you know, it, it's important, you know, at the inception of our uh, of our show today, you know, a lot of people have the misconception because they, they think that, well, they, they hear VA and it's no money down. Yeah, that's true. But you have to consider that there are closing costs and other costs associated with the actual loan process that have to be right. taken in consideration. Hence the reason why I bring up management of expectations so that they understand from cradle to grave through the loan process that this is the way it's going to happen. Right. This is what to expect. And that way they're all, right. all the worse for wear upon completion of it. Yeah, and to follow up with them. There's prepaids involved. You know, you got to pay taxes. Mm-hmm. You got the doc stamps. You know, the governor's got to play golf. You know, we got to pay those bills and all that good stuff. I don't know about that. But, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, so that's, that's a good point. And then with the VA, what we do for Platinum MVP Realty, any VA veterans, uh, any uh, first responders, active military, anyone along those lines, uh, police force, we will actually rebate a quarter to a half a point back to uh, any of those aforementioned for help with their down payments. You know, that's a real estate commission that we're going to give back 
uh, for uh, you know our way of thanking you for your service, our way of uh, just just doing that little bit that we can do to help improve the lives of those folks that you know risk it for us, and and you know they're out there every day fighting in the streets, you know get those text alerts to my phone officer involved shooting on the beaches the other day. I mean, there's, it happens all the time. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's all the time. So, you know, we want to give a quarter to half a point back to any veterans, active military first responders, just by using our company. If you're buying or selling or investing, we'll do that. uh, And we'll, we'll help you with that as well. And half to a quarter, just depending on the size of the deal. But yeah, so, so we want to help people. That's, that's the goal of this show being that consumer advocate. uh, You know, I, I like to say, to our listeners out there, our viewers of our TV show on WeBeam TV is to think about this show as the hub of your financial will, your business will, your health will. We've got uh, chefs that cook for us. We've got uh, Dr. Uh, Mejia with, you know, we got all types of people that can help you here. So this is the center of your, your business, your financial, your health will. And each one of those folks extending out represent another one of our preferred partners, 80 show partners that we have that represent the show. Uh, And it's all found at consumerqb.com. You can find links there. You can find their contact information. And we all want to help you win. Uh, you know, we got a lot of events coming up as well, some cool events that we're planning. So we'll keep you up to date on that. Uh, we're coming into our lightning round here. So let's go ahead and jump in and uh, let's do some top tips, parting words of advice. Robin. I would say look at complete full galleries. So you can go to somebody's website and you see like these shining stars of what they've shot. But if you're really going to consider hiring them, mm. make sure that you look at an entire wedding gallery because they can shoot a everybody can get lucky and have a good shot here or there. And then they take those and put them up on their gallery, Ah, what you see on your website. But, you know, with your wedding gallery, I'm sure that you could see it was pretty thorough. Like it was every single, from the beginning of the getting ready shots, everything was covered and everything was shot well. Right. Yeah, that's awesome. We were very pleased. Thank you very much for that. Yeah. That's awesome. I know Lindsay loved it. So, um, all right, parting words of wisdom, top nuggets of advice, Renee. I would say, you know, obviously make sure that any lender that you go with, that you are comfortable with them, um, you know, not to cliche it, but the only stupid question is the one that you don't ask. Right. This isn't something you do every day. So don't be shy in asking that question. Right. And just follow through with the process. Make sure you understand it from the the beginning of it to the actual end of it and then get it in writing. That's right. Get it in writing, get quoted, get it up front, be proactive, uh, you know, document the process. If you ever have any problems, that's one thing our attorneys have said in the past, too, is if you're having issues, you know, document the process, think a layer deeper and and be smart out there. I want to thank our expert contributors, uh, Renee, representing Team Hennessy, your loan pilots, Robin Winkler, Robin Reese Photography. And we want you thank to please you, go out there and consider committing a random act of kindness. Something as simple as packing up some leftover food, carry it with you to and from your commute, hand it to that person that you see in need. Be a force for good in the community. Do something kind for one another. Maybe volunteer uh, at your church or the local food bank and uh, donate blood. You know, do something kind, do something small, and it'll add up to big things. Consumer Quarterback Show, ConsumerQB.com. You've been listening to the Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. Whether it's real estate, consumer, or financial advice, let Brandon call your next play. Contact Brandon Rhymes at 813-670-7372. That's 813-670-7372. Online at ConsumerQB.com. And join us next time for the Consumer Quarterback Show. Weekday afternoons at 5 on AM 1380. The Biz.